Hi, lovely friend. I hope this day is treating you marvelously so far. I am here with a beautiful, beginner-friendly crochet bias wrap pattern. This beautiful pattern is called Prolongation and was designed for you by Janica Carter. Now it is crochet, but if you prefer to knit, we actually have a knit version as well. So we will put the link below to that for you. I have always been a fan of bias designs ever since I learned how simple they are to create. The bias is created by simply increasing on one side and decreasing on the other. So what would have been a rectangle becomes a parallelogram with virtually no effort. This pattern consists of primarily double crochets and single crochets, and it has some really cute little adorable puff stitches. So this is great for the adventurous beginner. This shawl is such a lovely cozy size for curling up on the couch and watching TV. You can also wrap it around your shoulders when you're going for a walk out on the beach, or maybe you wanna to toss it on for those late evening walks when the weather is just a little bit crisp. You can download the PDF for this pattern at expressionfiberarts.com, and we will also put the direct link to it and the limited edition yarn that we used to make this pattern in the description for you. So the PDF includes all the information for gauge as well as the color changes. So if you would like that information, you'll wanna go grab that. We used our Blossom fingering weight yarn for this pattern, which has a gorgeous glow to it and it drapes really beautifully. So it is wonderful for shawls like this and it's gonna hold up really well to lots of love and use. I am gonna be showing you how to make this pattern today. And since the stitches do repeat across the row, I'm gonna be making a smaller, wee little miniature version today. So let's go ahead and get started with the border. So to start row one, we're gonna begin with some foundation single crochets. So I'm gonna start with a little slip knot. And then you're gonna begin with a chain two. Now you're gonna turn this over and slide your hook under the little loop on that first chain. Now yarn over and pull up a loop now we're going to make a chain and then yarn, yarn over to make a single crochet. Now we're going to repeat that. So turn your crochet so you can see the little V on the bottom and you're going to insert your hook under both legs of that V. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now yarn over and make a chain by pulling through one yarn over and make a single crochet by pulling through two. And let's continue repeating that across. Insert your hook under both legs of the V on the bottom here. Yarn over and pull through one to make a chain. Yarn over, pull through two to make a single crochet. Now I'm just gonna do eight today just cause I wanna do a little swatch for you. But to work this pattern as written, you're going to need to create 90 foundation single crochets. Alternatively, if you're not a fan of this method, you can chain 91 and then single crochet into each stitch across, skipping one. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So you're just gonna continue along. I really like a foundation single crochet because it's a little bit stretchier than if you were to start with a chain. So you won't end up with a really tight, stiff start to your project. You're gonna have some nice stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let me get one more going. Whoops, and eight. So there you go. Now let me show you row two of the border and this is where we start to create our bias shape. To work row two, we're gonna start with a chain one and now we're gonna work only into the back loops and we're gonna start here in this very first stitch and we're gonna work two single crochets. One, and then again in the same stitch, two. Now, still working only into those back loops, we're gonna work across our row, working one single crochet into each stitch across until we have two stitches left in our row. So we increased at the start of the row, and when we get to the end and there's only two stitches, we're going to decrease. So to do that, insert your hook and pull up a loop, then insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop, 
and then yarn over and pull through three. So we've decreased here and we've increased here and this is going to start to form our bias shape. Row three is a very simple, it's just single crochets across, so I will show you how to do that. For row three, we turn of course, and we're going to work a chain one. Now we're gonna continue working only into the back loops, and we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch across. So we're not increasing or decreasing this row, we're just working one stitch into each stitch in the back loops only. So you should have the same number of stitches that you had on the previous row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one more. Eight. For rows four and five of the border, you're just gonna repeat rows two and three. Now that we've finished with the border, we're gonna move on to the body of the shawl. So we'll begin with row one. Now for row one of the body, you turn and you start with a loose chain two. And this counts as your first double crochet. Now we're gonna work a double crochet into this first stitch and we are working through both loops now. So this is an increase since this is two stitches basically in that same initial stitch. Now you're just gonna work all the way across your row, working one double crochet into each stitch until you get to the end when you have two stitches left. And when you just have two stitches left at the end, you're gonna work a decrease. So yarn over and insert your hook in the second to last stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, now yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through three, and that is a decrease. So this is continuing our little bias shape. Row two, again, very simple. You're just gonna work single crochets across your row. We turn for row two and we're gonna start with a chain one. Now this is a really simple row, nice and mindless. You're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch across your row. There's no increasing or decreasing on this row. You just wanna make sure you maintain the correct number of stitches. So go ahead and count your stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, I need to work one more in this final chain two, which counted as a stitch. So don't forget that. So I should have eight stitches now. Rows three through six, you're just gonna repeat rows one and two twice. Now that we've worked those repeating rows, we're gonna move on to row seven. We're gonna turn to work row seven and start with a chain one. Now we're gonna do two single crochets in that first stitch continuing to create our little increase there on this side. And then one single crochet until we get down to two at the end. So one single crochet in each stitch across until you have two stitches remaining. And then you know what to do when you get down to two, you're gonna decrease. So you begin a single crochet, but you don't finish it. Begin a single crochet in that final stitch, but don't finish it and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So you've decreased here, you've increased here, and we've got a nice little shape going. Now we're on to row eight, where we get to work some really fun puff stitches. We're gonna turn for row eight and start with a chain one, and then work a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Now we're gonna work some fun little puff stitches. So to work a puff, you're gonna yarn over and insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and you're gonna do that three times. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch, and pull up a loop. Again, yarn over, insert into that same stitch, and pull up a loop, and when you have seven loops on your hook, 
yarn over and pull through all seven loops. And there's your little puff. Then next, you're gonna single crochet in the next st stitch. Then let's work another little puff. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch and pull up a loop. And then when you have seven loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all those loops. Then single crochet. So you're gonna repeat that across your row. Puff, single crochet, puff, single crochet. And when you get down to two stitches, just work a single crochet into both of those. And that row is complete. To work rows nine through 20, you're just gonna repeat rows five through eight three times. When you get to rows 21 through 26, you're just gonna repeat rows one and two three more times. Now that you've worked those rows, that is essentially the repeat for your pattern. So you're gonna repeat rows one through 26 eight more times or however long you want your shawl to be. Then finally, to finish off your shawl, you're going to work a border just like you did at the beginning of your pattern. So it really is that simple. Be sure to download the PDF so that you have all the written instructions and you can refer back to that at any time. So I hope today is a great one for you and that it's full of joy and love and that you find time to crochet, of course. All right, I'm gonna see you next time for our next tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Oh, you made it to the end of the video, yay! So we're actually having a secret giveaway for our Blossom Fingering Weight yarn. We're giving away these three skeins, and all you have to do to get entered is to comment below and let us know if you could be any flower, which one would you be and why? So go ahead and get entered. Good luck, and we'll announce the winner next week. Bye-bye!